whoa, 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 wait. Part two? Another round? I couldn't even handle the first round. I'm gonna need something to get me through this. We're gonna have to bring in some reinforcement. And let's get started. Yo, drink this vodka down the hatch, come on. In Astro World. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mr. Fabulous. Um, and if you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you for sticking around. I know it's been a while since I put a video up, but we're not going to get into that. Let's just have some good vibes, good energy. We have Don Julio here, so it's all good. Um, so today we're going to be trying out some of the products from the Desi Katie Round 2 collection with Dose of Colors. And I'm super, super excited. When I saw the news scrolling through Instagram, I was like... Whoa, I'm ready for it. The last collection was so beautiful, such a hit. I loved it. Um, so when I saw that they were coming out with an eyeshadow palette, especially I was super excited about that because the colors, the colors in there really got me going and ready. So let's jump right into it. Today actually was the day they released with Ulta. So this morning I woke up and I ran to my Ulta. Mind you, I got there literally when the doors opened, and I'm like, oh, no one's gonna be here, I'm gonna be the only one, I'm gonna be able to shop peacefully. As soon as I walked in, I walked in with another group of girls, and I was like, okay, I think I know what y'all here for. I picked up the Friendcation palette, so I cannot wait to get into this right now. And I also picked up another Fuego highlighter. Um, I desperately needed another one. This is um, my old one right here from the first launch and uh, kind of embarrassed to show you guys but as you can tell I really love this highlighter so I had to get another one. It was time. I might go back and get another one because I swear this highlighter is so beautiful and today I don't have nothing on. As you can see I kind of did my bare face already so we can just focus on the eyes and highlight. So if you're interested to see me create a look with the palette, show you some swatches, show you the highlighter, and just have a good old time, please keep on watching. So we have the Friendcation palette! Yes, I kind of like this packaging box, like it looks pretty dope. And here's the palette right here, oh my god I freaking love this packaging, it's so gorgeous. I wish I could just take it like a little clutch and just take it everywhere, it's just like amazing. You got all these beautiful nude tones, brown tones, you got some gold, I love that they added this nice uh, cherry red flavor here we got these dark ones over here which is giving me full fall vibes and I'm pretty much gonna dive into these colors over here I was gonna do like a nice gold neutral kind of look but I feel like I always do that so I want to stay away from that and try something a little bit more dark a little bit more edgy okay so I already did one eye off camera as you can see I wanted to play around with this so I could really know what I'm talking about when I'm explaining it to you guys plus I also didn't know what colors I wanted to use so this is what I came up with I'm super in love with it, like, I just love the whole smoked out kind of glitter, like, if you want to see how to get this look, we're going to get started right now. Um, I use this little Morphe brush right here, it doesn't have a name, um, because it was in one of the little bundles they had at the store, um, but I'm going to be going in with Churro right here, which, in the pan, it looks very light, but watch, when I put it on right now, it's pretty dark, like, and I thought that darker brown was going to be the darkest, but... This shade's pretty dark, like, look. So I'm just gonna go in, blend in this color. But, like, it shows up dark on the eyes, which is pretty cool. Makes it even better. And the kickback on it is very little. I think I had a little bit more fallout when I was using, like, the blue shades and, like, the super intense dark ones. But if you just wet your uh, brush, you should have less fallout with it. And with that dark color next, which is Jeans. Which is going to be this one right here. And I'm pretty much going to take it on uh, this smaller Morphe brush right here. This is the Morphe M14. So it's a lot much smaller and tapered. And I'm going to take that and focus it right in that crease. Not too high like I did the other color. Like, just these two colors alone, like, oh my god, yeah, it's giving me fall grunge vibes. Like, these brown tones are, like, perfect. Honestly. Truly. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with that. Um, as you can see, the brown kind of gets hidden, but it's very crucial to put this color so everything just blends seamlessly together. 
Okay, so next I'm going to go in with this smaller little packing brush from Morphe. Again, it doesn't have a name. Into Game Over, which should be this one right here. It should be next to the true one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go in with Game Over right here, which I thought was going to be black. Um, but it's like a, I don't know if it's like a dark navy or if it has like a navy shift to it. Like it looks black, but in the pan it looks like navy. I don't know. It's so weird, but so cool. And it's something like I don't have in my collection. So I'm going to grab this color right here and I'm going to grab a little bit of setting powder and put this under my eye. Cause like I said, it does have some fallout to it. Okay, so I'm going to grab this color and I'm going to, wait, hold on. I'm going to pack it on right here at the bottom. And look at that. Like, I didn't even wet my brush. And you can see the intensity of this glitter shade. So I'm going to blend this out right here. Sorry if I covered it up. And really wing this out. And I'm going to go back in with that packer shade. And I'm going to be going in with a moment, which this gives this whole look a fabulous moment on the lid. So I'm going to pick that up and because I really don't want this to be flying everywhere and I kind of want it to stay down and kind of act like as act like if it's a cream. So I'm going to spray, I'm going to use the Morphe uh, setting mist and I'm just going to spray it like one, two times, three times. And I'm going to pack that on the lid, kind of drag it and follow that shape. So first I put it in the middle, but then I was like, I'm going to put it all over. Oh my God, that is so freaking beautiful. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with that lower lash line and I'm going to take that same little small Morphe Packer brush and kind of dip into that darker shade at the bottom, not the blue one. And I'm going to put it at the bottom here. Using that blue, it kind of just mixes in really perfectly. So I'm just placing it right here. And I'm going to dip into Trudeau and kind of diffuse the color just a little bit at the bottom here. So it just looks all cohesive. And I'm going to go in with some liner. I'm using the Wet n Wild Little Black Pencil Liner. So we're going to take a little bit of Just a Kiss on the inner corner right here. I'm just going to pop that in with my pinky. Okay, so now that we got the eyes nice and done, I'm super obsessed and I cannot wait to post photos of this look. But next we're going to jump in right into the highlight. And like I mentioned earlier, I did pick up a Fuego. And this is my number one favorite highlighter that I have so I'm so glad to have another one and this is how it looks right here and this is the highlighter just a really beautiful gold light champagne kind of mixed color like on my skin it just looks so wet and beautiful and like it's just unexplainable so I'm gonna let it show you for itself how it looks so I'm gonna take a little MAC um, 224 little brush right here and I'm just tapping a little bit here and you can really build it up. So I like to just grab a little and then just place a little right here on top of the cheekbone. Oh, yes. Oh, I missed you. I missed you. And I actually haven't been wearing my other one a lot because I'm like, it's going to run out soon. So I kind of save it for like special days. Oh, my God. Yes, hunty. Okay, just give me a moment because I'm just going to highlight everywhere really quick. Oh, and the nose. Highlight that little nose really quick. Let me hit that other cheek. Oh, my God. Yes. But that's the highlight right here. There's really not a lot to say other than it's beautiful. So that is pretty much it for the look, guys. I feel like it was kind of fast, but like... I wanted to get straight to the point, share the look, and really get a video up because one, I missed you guys. Two, I've been missing YouTube and creating videos. So I'm really putting it into my schedule to put more videos out. Um, so I'm super excited about that. All the stuff that I use will be in the description bar below, including prices. And make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see this look when I post it. Um, I would love to see you guys over there. Um, and other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Please sound off below what you want to see next. Um, Halloween is literally around the corner and October 1st is tomorrow. So I cannot wait to do some looks for you guys. Um, more than I've already done already on my Instagram. So please do not be shy. Leave me a comment below what you want to see. Definitely going into this YouTube with a different mindset. I'm really not going to focus on no numbers. 
no nothing i'm just gonna focus on having fun and creating some cool content so i really hope you guys enjoy and i will see you in the next video so thank you guys so much for watching i miss you guys and i'll talk to you guys in the comments see you later bye